But I don't take it personally and I'm not bitter. <laughs> Milan Smiljanic of Serbia opening 300 kilos. Sounds like you're over it. 100%. 100% or like 10%. Taking a moment to settle his nerves, get focused. He's got a whole minute, so he might as well use as much as he needs to get in the perfect place to make this first squat. Absolutely. And this is one of all the rest of the squats of this attempt being a number that starts with three. I looked a little hard for an opener. Well, he opened just a little bit heavier than that, so his nominated total being 922.5 kilos, maybe a little bit under of what he can do. Yeah, absolutely. We don't know how much someone improved, and the window for when you can give a total to be nominated is relatively broad, and as we've seen, some people get moved around from prime time to B flights. They're not always necessarily to the standard that the IPF wants to see for what a nominated total is, and it has changed uh, which lifters are on which flights, so there is some ambiguity around uh, these nominated totals. 310 kilos on the bar now for Milan of Serbia. That's very solid depth, but an extremely tough fight as he hits that stick point. Milan Smoljanic of Serbia jumping 10 kilos to 320 for his third and final attempt. Now, Amelia, I've got a question for you. Do you find that beyond just the order of attempts, are there differences in the way that lifters need to get themselves in the right headspace per the different disciplines? Absolutely. You know, it's not often you see someone who smacks their head for deadlift do the same for bench. Everything is different the same way as you're not going to get in the same mindset to do work as you are to go to the gym. So my smelling salts are not helping me write my manuscripts. I'll remember that. And just does not give up his position as he gets into that IPF technical rule book. You won't get the press command till the bar is motionless on your chest. So if it's still sinking through your body or if it's unclear to the referee of whether or not it is stable and unmoving, you won't get that press command as fast, sapping valuable strength as it rests there on your chest. Milan Smiljanak of Serbia, opening on 215 kilos. An example there of a little bit more of a sinking technique. I would say that probably speaks to the standard of lifter here at World Championships, able Absolutely. to show those judges that they've got control on their chest and therefore get the benefit of getting that fast call. Yeah, it's not a case of one, two, press. It's as soon as you see the bar stationary, that is when they press. And if that's instantly, then it's instantly. And that's exactly what you want to create with the practice you do in the gym, making sure that you show control over the bar so you get that benefit. Milan Smiljanic of Serbia, 225 kilos. And that's a nice visual milestone of getting four red plates on the bar with the collars. Just a little too close to the line. Milan Smiljanic of Serbia, a five kilo jump to 230 for his final attempt followed only by three other lifters and we will have a short break before deadlifts oh, and that moved a little bit downward on his body I think more than he intended yeah, this and opening up with Milan Smiljanic of Serbia 245 kilos and you can see this gentleman, very good bench presser, 225. And that unfortunately means that his limb proportions are <laughs> not well built for the deadlift. So he is one of the better benchers. You see some outliers there, but the general consensus kind of stays the same. Absolutely. Milan Smiljanic of Serbia, jumping 10 kilos to 255 for a second attempt. And that is unique to the deadlift because the squat, of course, is on your back and the bench is in your hands. But the, but the ground stays in the same spot regardless of how tall you are. And with Milan Smiljanic of Serbia, jumping 20 kilos to 275.
And it's a fight. And probably just a little too much, unfortunately. That was a 20 kilo jump. I suspect something like 10.